November 7th. Definitely have shot a good amount of deer on November 7th. We're back in the stand. We took two days off because it was 75 and just needed to catch up on stuff and take a break. We're back in the stand and we're back after Bro G2. And after our encounter with him the other day, he kind of shifted a few hundred yards. We've been picking him up on a couple cameras over here. Just like really regular, like yesterday morning, yesterday night, and the morning before that, which is not usual. So if there was just a hot dell right here, or if he just moved all together, I don't know. But we got up in the street today. This morning, I had some sticks in it, but I never sat it. So we just got up in it, and we got an awesome brassica plot right here that is honestly probably the best fruit plot I've ever planted in my life. So, just got to pitch us down right here, and he's been hitting scrapes all down this side, so we'll see. We'll sit here. We, we need an east wind for this spot, and we got east-southeast all day today, so we'll probably hunt this morning and tonight here. This is, this is probably the most insane, like I said, the best food plot I've ever done. But look at that. They're just gnawing on it. That's a big, that's a big beat. Look at my head. <laughs> it's nearly as big as my head, so. It's not bad. It's actually decent. We went to um, a permission place that I have. It's a pretty good drive, but I was playing golf in the summertime. And we got paired with this group and we got to talking and they got this ground and they don't really hunt. So they said, have at it. So I came out here one time in the summer. I put a couple cameras in, and there's a good, there's a good 10 point in here. He's probably mid sixties. It's just, it's a good drive and I have nothing really set up. So we came in here and just hanging on it and it's like this little swamp bedding area, the dried pond. And I mean, we've been having a really good sit so far. So I don't think I know that deer either. Gosh, talk about a pretty dead boy. farm like I've like I've said in past episodes it's like this is we have no idea what's here <laughs> which is kind of exciting very uh, very very little knowledge of this place and stuff so this is a stand we hung the other day in the rain or the other week in the rain in the end of October and it's just one of those spots you sit all day and just out on a point of a ridge I don't know what the one in the front is. No, it's a 10. Oh, it's a nine. It's 8.30 and we've had a pretty jam packed morning. There's this big wide den that's all busted up. It's been locked down with the doe and just all morning we've just had these like satellite two, three year olds just trying to, trying to steal the doe. Definitely gonna sit for a while longer. There's another hot doe over here that a couple little bucks are just kind of bumping around and messing with. So I feel like it won't be long before we see another, another good mature deer. This guy, I think he's either four or five and like on this new farm, like I said, it's like, we gotta be really strict about it, so. We really want to try to get get things to five or six ideally so and with them all busted up he's gonna get the pass for sure if he comes by oh i see the 10 now wow we finally have some 
no action. Got a couple bucks. Gonna work those off, so we're gonna see if we can just have some fun. Yeah, not a shooter, it's a four year old dead. Big A behind them. No. Midday swap. Moving stands. Saw a buck after running at a gas station. We're going to do uh, other side of the farm, the new farm. And there is a deer up in here that's a stud. So we got a we got a chance. He's got like just giant brow tines on him. Um, so we'll see. He's around here. Or maybe he's the next county over because it's the rut. Just never know. Never know. It's just a little colder. It's about 60 degrees. We got up in this spot we call commercial. Why, I don't know, but it is. We already saw a lone button buck. We got in here nice and early. I think it's like one o'clock, 1.30, something like that. So, great spot. Just kind of CRP cedars out here and then timber um, to our south. We'll see. There's a couple bucks in here I'd definitely shoot, so I'd love to just lay eyes on one of them. Another spike coming up the ditch. They hear the commotion, they're coming to it. Another, another spike, wow. Just a two-year-old. Oh yeah, what's that dear? Oh yeah, 
six. It's just one of those borderline deer to me. Like on, like a, he's look. I'd be so happy with that deer. He's mature, but gosh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, dude, I, with this new farm, we just gotta be so picky. It's just a tough deal. I know. I had my, I had my twenty on his heart. November 10th, we are back after Broke G2. We're just bombing all over the place. This farm, that farm, this deer, that deer. I'll tell you one thing though, I'm not passing Broke G2 like the buck I did last night. I'll bring everyone up to speed. We've been hunting here in Iowa for, I don't even know how many, we probably have done 20 some sits now. And, uh, on my lease, there's one deer called Bro G2 that we've been after. We had one encounter with him last week at 20 yards, and he busted. And then we saw him the day before that, too, so we've seen him twice. And he just popped back up on camera after a couple days last night at like 2 a.m. where I had the encounter with him. But this spot that we're sitting, he is here pretty, uh, you know, every three to four to five days in the daylight. So we'll see, and tonight we might switch it up and go hunt the new farm. It's a new farm that we have permission on to hunt, but really strict rules on it. I passed a very large deer <laughs> that I probably won't pass again, but we'll see. I'm gonna sit back, it's a beautiful morning. We did get in here in the gray light, but I'm not too worried about it because this is just a cruising spot. We're not in a bedding area or anything.
November 13th. We are slowly grinding through November. Took two days or day and a half off. Had to go rescue Caitlin in Missouri because she broke her ankle falling out of a tree stand. So I have my harness on extra tight today. And a good reminder to everyone to be safe. And do your do your precautions, wear your harnesses and everything. And she was climbing down out of her stand and fell. So we're sitting on the permission piece that we got we got when we were golfing. It's the second time we've sat here. So uh, this is just a place where we could see nothing or we could see a 200. It's just CRP ditches and very very remote. We already saw one deer. We actually, I was not planning on coming here this morning, but we had a, just decided to kind of mid-drive, so I added 40 minutes on our drive, and we got in. We were climbing up the stand, and it was shooting light, let's just say that, so. But it's all good, it's a rut. Hang tight, rattle. And it might be a 200 inch around. who knows. Little ones are too easy. 